Hey, this is ES Einsteinium, and I am answering Joe's question today. Basically, what I've got is I've got a stream of light here, and if you can see, which you probably can't on this camera because it's pretty hard to pick out with your eyes, um, there's a, of course, stream of light going down. Maybe little dust sparkles or something going around it. Um, from right here, my no, it's not going to come myself. Um, basically, I was trying to get it around my room and I thought I did something that's awesome enough to waste all my deodorant. And basically... Yeah, there was... If I do that... It looks like it's burning up and it's awesome. So, I was gonna Google it, but I thought this might be a good enough excuse for you to do a video for me and I hear yeah, signs standing there. It's like... So from what I can tell, you are spraying aftershave into a light stream, and it looks like it's burning up. So as he asked, I made a video on it. First I thought it could be something to do with the fact that the aftershave evaporates at a reasonably low temperature, and so the sunlight was heating up past this temperature. Then I thought for the shape, that it could actually be doing the same thing that atom bombs do, and form a mushroom cloud. This is where the molecules on the edge slow down due to the friction with the air, but the middle carries on forming a mushroom shape. But asking around and talking to people, they suggested Brownian motion. This is where particles suspended in a liquid or a gas seem to have random movements. Let's look at an example with aftershave and air. The air is invisible, and the aftershave is visible. As it sprayed into the air, the molecules on the aftershave collide with the fast moving air molecules and cause them to deflect in random directions and at different speeds. There is a link in the video description to a good gif on it. Yet, it is important to realise that the dust in the air that you can see, a lot of that is caused by air currents, but some of it is Brownian motion. So there we go, it comes from Brownian motion and air currents from when you wave the bottle around. So this has been The Eccentric Scientist. That was a video answering Joe's question. Want a question answering? Leave it in the comments or create a video response. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Bye!